Tarrant County Grand Jury is deciding whether to charge a fired Arlington police officer for a deadly shooting. Officer Brad Miller was a trainee when he killed Christian Taylor at a car dealership in August of last year. Taylor was unarmed but acting aggressively, and toxicology reports showed he was high on drugs at the time of the shooting. Fox Force Phil Alvarado is in Fort Worth with a closer look at how the grand jury will move forward with this case. Phil. Well, Steve, uh, you know, the officer was a rookie at the time, uh, still in field training when he shot that 19 year old. And uh, the officer said that uh, he was in fear of his life. That's all uh, that uh, the grand jury is considering, all of those facts and more. Uh, the uh, family's attorney has said before that they would like at least uh, a manslaughter indictment. The video from the Arlington dealership shows 19 year old Christian Taylor acting erratically, jumping on cars, and later busting through the gate into the parking lot. Former Arlington officer, 49 year old Brad Miller, was one of the officers on the scene. Miller is accused of following Taylor into the dealership where he shot the Angelo State football player four times. Taylor died. This week, Miller's case is before a Tarrant County grand jury. Attorney Alex Kim is not connected to the case. An officer-related shooting, you have a person that was acting under the color of law. They, were, they had a badge, a gun, they were doing their duties, and then something tragic happened where the gun was discharged. Miller was fired by Arlington Police Chief Will Johnson days after the shooting. DISD Police Chief Craig Miller was expected to be an expert witness in the case. Craig Miller couldn't talk about his involvement, but says he didn't testify today. The defendant can sometimes testify, but usually doesn't in case there's an indictment. Now that testimony can later be used in the trial against the defendant, so generally defendants don't themselves testify, but a lot of times we'll have extra witnesses there to help the grand jury understand exactly what happened or have a better picture of what happened that evening. Kim says officer-related shootings can be among the most challenging cases for grand juries. They're acting as a representative of the government, of the state of Texas, uh, as an officer, and now if somebody dies, I think the public does have greater scrutiny in those situations. Uh, the autopsy showed that Taylor did have drugs in his system and uh, the uh, Arlington Police Department uh, finished their investigation, sent it on to the district attorney, and uh, that also is part of the grand jury's investigation at this point. Steve? All right. I feel a lot of people looking forward to seeing what happens with that case. Thank you very much.